Hi Blue Peter, my name is Avani and I've been learning about climate change and how it's important for us to all do our bit to look after the planet. Hope this inspired you. Bye. It really has inspired me, Avani. We are all doing our bit to protect the planet. Now, to understand how climate change really does affect us, I went out on a mission to find out more. Human activity is raising temperatures. 2020 was one of the hottest years ever. Would be impossible without man-made global warming. There is so much said about global warming and climate change that it can get a bit confusing. I want to know more. So why does carbon matter? And what do greenhouses actually have to do with it? I need someone that can help. Maddie Moat is a TV presenter and science fanatic. When she's not on your screens on CBBC and CBBS, she hosts a live science show online. So she's the perfect person to help me understand just what's going on in our atmosphere. Maddie has asked to meet me at one of the largest greenhouses in the country. Wow, this place is absolutely huge. I know, it's such an impressive place to be learning about the greenhouse effect. So I tell you what, let's go inside yeah. and I can explain a bit more. Cool, let's go. <laughs> Wow, Mandy, look at all these peppers. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Unfortunately, I don't think they're for us to pick, um, but it's pretty warm in here, right? I'm yep. sweating. That's because we have sunlight entering the greenhouse mm. and the heat is getting trapped inside. And at a really basic level, something similar is happening in our atmosphere. Uh-huh. But I don't feel like our atmosphere is covered in glass. No, it's definitely not. Our atmosphere is actually made up of layers of different gases. OK, so instead of glass trapping the heat on Earth, it's the gases in our atmosphere. Yes, exactly. One of those gases is yeah. carbon dioxide, I know that CO2. One. Um, you might have heard carbon dioxide described as a greenhouse gas. Yes. Right, so it plays a role in the greenhouse effect, and I can show you how. Perfect. I am really learning today. <laughs> Ooh, what's all this then? OK, firstly, let me ask you, have you heard of someone called Eunice Foote? I don't think so. To be honest, not many people knew about her till fairly recently. She was an American scientist oh, yes. and a women's rights activist in the 19th century. Mm -hmm. And she is now considered to be one of the pioneers of climate science. Oh, wow. But why only now? When she was given an opportunity to present her work and her experiments, yeah. it was a male scientist that did it on her her behalf and that's very likely because she was a woman but now we sort of look at her experiments and we say whoa she actually this led to a genius discovery about the atmosphere but she only really gets the credit quite recently. So what did she actually discover then? Well, she showed that certain gases, like carbon dioxide, hold on to heat better than others when trapped inside a glass cylinder. So we're going to recreate Eunice Foote's experiment, but with a bit of a twist. Nice. Yeah, sound fun? Yeah, so all what right, do we okay. do? So, first of all, we need some ice. Gently lower that ice into the beaker. Fantastic, well done. Now seal the beaker. So what you're doing is you're sealing the air inside. Get the thermometer mm -hmm. and then straight through there. That is going to give us an idea of what's happening to the temperature inside the beaker. So now I'm going to do exactly the same thing, except I'm going to fill the beaker with carbon dioxide gas. There we are. Um, should we get some lunch? Good idea. Do you think they'll let us have some of the peppers? Probably not. Eunice Foot left her experiment in the sun, but we're using infrared lamps to simulate the sun's heat. <gasps> Muddy, look at this! I tell you what, let's look at the actual temperatures. This Ooh. says 30.1 degrees Celsius. This one is reading 35 degrees Celsius. So just like when Eunice Foot did a similar experiment over 150 years ago, we're seeing that the beaker containing carbon dioxide is warmer than the one containing air because carbon yes. dioxide does a better job of holding on to heat, of trapping that warmth. So mm. that makes sense. What does this mean for our Earth then? So since the 1800s, humans have been burning fossil fuels Fuels, mm -hmm. such as coal, oil and gas yes. for energy. But the problem is that when you burn fossil fuels, you release greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. OK, so what I think I'm understanding is the more greenhouse gases that we release into our atmosphere and environment, the more heat they'll trap. Yeah, and the result for the Earth is a 
bit like the greenhouse we're stood in, it heats up. So what does this mean for us on Earth? It has a huge impact on us. For example, just like the ice inside this beaker here, glacial and sea ice is melting. That then creates a rise in ocean sea levels. So how can we prevent this happening then? Well, there are lots of small changes we can make. Mm -hmm. Things like reduce the amount of oil, gas and electricity we use at home. Mm -hmm. We can try to walk and use bicycles rather than driving around in cars. We can also lower our food waste. Yes, I definitely don't have a lot of food waste. <laughs> So this is good. <laughs> and all of those things help to reduce what we call our carbon footprint, which is the amount of carbon that we are responsible for putting out into the world. It's so good to know that we can actually do something to help our planet. And also, shout out to Eunice Foote for having discovered this 150 years ago. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, she really was a pioneer of climate science. <gasps> do you think that let me take a pepper? We can ask. I never actually got that pepper, but thanks to Mandy, I learned a lot about climate change and how to reduce my carbon footprint. Hey guys, it's Adam. Make sure you subscribe to the Blue Peter channel, like this video, check out our playlists, and if you want to watch more Blue Peter content, then head over to the BBC iPlayer.